I'm here with Reverend Dave, owner of Sacred Art. Um, Reverend Dave, uh, can you tell us a bit about this place? I most certainly can. Uh, Sacred Art, custom tattoo and body piercing. Uh, this is my facility. I've uh, been an entity here in Ottawa for about five years. Um, put it together myself. Uh, and actually built all the, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, apparatus and did, you know, did all the renovating and everything myself to create uh, what I perceive to be a standard setting uh, worldly uh, based studio right here in Ottawa. Um, so uh, first time here clearly uh, I'd like to conduct you the tour. Sounds good. Um, this is my front foyer uh, naturally as you can see. Um, I do have a display computer over here with tens of thousands of design images that uh, basically just uh, to give you an idea um, or you know to help perhaps convey your idea of what you want to me um, so that I can design something custom one-off just for you my focus here is always based on the individual mm -hmm. um, I am a custom artist so I do prefer to design individualized artwork uh, with respect to that um, I have no real specification but my personal preferences are family oriented uh, or religious oriented uh, type artworks I'm also really fond of Celtic artwork uh, here at Sacred Art. Um, this is where pretty much everything out there stays out there and here we create. Um, this is where I conduct all of my tattooing and body piercing and uh, in a standard setting way. Uh, I've gone beyond um, health requirements and uh, created a lot of innovations that are uh, in my opinion a requirement. Uh, one, for instance, being my uh, direct procedural access to my on-site lab, um, the Rev's lab, and uh, that is where uh, I'd like to show you next. Um, this direct procedural access actually eliminates uh, transport, you know, uh, through um, thoroughways, uh, transport of critical instruments, uh, etc. And what better way than uh, direct? Um, on uh, your left here is my lab. Uh, this is where we conduct, uh, it's built and designed by myself uh, to be proprietary specified for the ease of industry professionals operation here um, in a standard setting way. Um, again, direct procedural access to my second booth, uh, which uh, I've dubbed Cloud9. Um, this is my guest artist station um, and also um, Designed to be a UV uh, tattoo uh, room as well. Um, this is where we'll be conducting UV tattoos Mondays only by appointment um, very soon. Um, yeah, and uh, I was actually fortunate enough to find a spectrum of light, uh, the UV that I could work under. Um, that's coming soon. And then. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Just when you think you've seen it all. Mm -hmm. Right upstairs here, in what I like to call my nearly famous Sacred Gaming Lounge. Um, so basically what we have here is just a place to relax while you wait. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we're sitting for hours doing tattooing and, uh, you know, friends, uh, family, etc. come along and uh, often or um, I'll be working with customers and you know um, somebody else will be waiting and I thought well that's really cool of you to wait appreciating I'm the only professional that works here uh, that you know it can be expected and um, you know I just thought wow you know if someone's cool enough to wait I should be cool enough to provide a cool way to wait you know so uh, I offered this um, Pool table, air hockey, foosball, uh, a couple of retro uh, video games, and uh, just a whole lot of sacred cool factor. <laughs> so how did things get started with you and tattoos? It's been every aspect of my life for as long as I can remember. Um, I got my first tattoo when I was 11 years old uh, from a, uh, my sister's, uh, one of my sisters had a, a professional tattooist friend, uh, my older sister, you know, and uh, yeah, it was a long crazy story back, you know, 25 years ago uh, where uh, 
my sister had run away from home and was actually staying, you know, uh, with this dude. And, uh, yeah, and my sister and I were really close. And I uh, was the only one that knew where she was, you know. And uh, so basically, you know, the opposite end of the city. I, I was always down there to visit and stuff. And uh, this guy was a tattoo artist. And I was just totally, <laughs> you know. Uh, intrigued and blown away being an artist already and you know already expressing myself through uh, means of art I was always drawing and that kind of stuff forever um, even before I met this guy I'd uh, <laughs> accidentally poked myself with an HP pencil and uh, you know reveled in that and we're talking like somewhere between seven and nine years old reveled that uh, you know it left a mark after it healed you know so and then so I was just totally idolized uh, my sister's friend and uh, who introduced me to the equipment and my first tattoo and all that kind of stuff uh, yep. mm -hmm. you know and that was that was the very beginning what was the first tattoo you ever got my uh, first tattoo uh, was kind of cute and, um, you know I was a pretty good kid and uh, so I got a pretty good tattoo for a first tattoo. Didn't give it a lot of thought. The opportunity just presented itself rather spontaneously and um, <laughs> wow, I, I, I took mo not more than a half hour of collaboration uh, before I decided on what I wanted and uh, it was a heart. Yeah, it was a heart with a halo and uh, I had a little banner across the heart that I never uh, wrote any script in because uh, I wasn't totally decided on uh, what I wanted to do and uh, again I was 11 years old uh, when I got this tattoo I always looked older and um, at that time there were no forms to fill out or you know it was uh, a little less um, uh, governed and structured as it is today uh, unfortunately and um, yeah, I loved it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my heart. It was actually why I used a uh, heart um, in all its simplicity and, and, and glory uh, in my logo today. What was the first tattoo you ever made? First tattoo I made was a tribal. Uh, tribal design. Uh, there was... Uh, Wow, there were so many ta so many first tattoos. The very first tattoo was a tribal design, but it was just um, spontaneous after that. It was uh, just a plethora of, of designs. Yep. Why tattoos? It's just one of those things I've always been around. It's one of those things that um, dates back as far as I can remember in my interests and, um, and practice. And it's um, an interest in art, uh, first and foremost. Um, you know, I think I knew more about or was immersed more in the tattoo industry before I knew about uh, oil and canvas. and you know other avenues so for me uh, it's just something that's always been part of my interest and, uh, and practice. Does it make a difference being a reverend and a tattoo artist? Well again I've never I don't hmm, I think that uh, you know my perspective it's really just that I tattoo and I body pierce I did that longer you know um, for much longer than I've been a minister, which has been six years now uh, since I was ordained. Um, I don't, uh, I, I think it's just a way that I govern myself more so. I don't directly associate the two. Uh, God makes man who they are and he made me what I am and also his servant, you know. And I think that, uh, you know, I'm, well, I've definitely heard a lot of mixed opinion uh, based on it, and uh, I don't know, it's just water under the bridge to me, uh, you know, judge not lest ye be judged, I don't look at it in a negative light, you know, I'm tend, I tend to, to radiate positivity, you know, and encourage the same, and people are entitled to their own opinions and beliefs, and so am I, <laughs> you know, so, um, in the terms of association of the two, I, uh, I think it's just more me personally in the way that I govern and, uh, and carry myself um, is about the only way that it reflects in, you know, the delivery of the tattooing and piercing. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't really religiously connect the two uh, more than my personal preference. Yeah. yeah.